Hi YouTubers, resellers, and thrifters. My name is Carrie, and my channel here on YouTube, as well as my eBay store, Poshmark Closet, Etsy shop, all of that are all be carried away as well. I'm a sometimes part-time, sometimes full-time reseller. And today I'm gonna take you to shoe school. That's step one, and we're actually really close to the thrift store, so we're walking over there now. Okay, welcome back. So we're gonna go thrifting uh, to two different Salvation Army stores. Both of these are quick thrift trips. So the first one is um, in my local town here in Dover, New Jersey, where I have an apartment and Mike works as a nurse practitioner. Um, and I walked over, I went in. This one was quick because they don't have AC in the summer and man, was it rough. So. <laughs> Um, I just looked at shoes pretty much and um, got about uh, 10 or 11 pairs, did pretty well. So I'm going to show you what I picked up, but also what I didn't pick up. And I'm going to talk about Bolo brands as we go. So um, throughout the video, I'm going to give you at least 50 different brands to be on the lookout for as you're shopping for shoes, as well as tips. What kind of shoes should you be looking for? What sort of a return might you expect? And all of the tips that I can kind of think of as we're going along. So let's go thrifting first and then we'll come back and I'm gonna show you my haul and I'll talk about the ones that I actually did pick up. So see you at the thrift store. So here we go into the uh, non-air conditioned <laughs> thrift store shoe section. When you first walk in, it really can be overwhelming if you're not a shoe seller. So number one thing that you're gonna look for are, is condition. And those shoes had some condition issues on the inside. So you're going to want to look at the toes, the heels, the sole, and also on the inside of the shoe. Pick each shoe up, turn it over, or each shoe that you're potentially interested in, pick it up, turn it over, look closely at it, get a feel for the, um, surfaces, etc., etc. So condition is number one. And I think condition often turns people off to shoe selling. They think they're going to be looking at shoes that are dirty or grungy. That's really not the case in a thrift store necessarily. Most thrift stores, or at least the ones that I go to or shop at, do um, make sure that they don't have particularly grungy shoes in the racks. Number two is going to be brand. And that's really where I want to focus um, on in this video. So I'm going to show you what I do pick Pick up what I don't pick up. So you'll see that I'm going over these kind of almost individually really and I'm looking inside to see what those brands are. So I did pick up there a pair of Michael Kors but I put them back. So brands like Michael Kors are very well known and you might think that it's an automatic pickup but it's certainly not going to be unless it's a great style. Here's a pair that is going to go into my cart automatically, and that's Stuart Weitzman. Stuart Weitzman is a put it in your cart and then comp it shoe brand. So it's very high end, and some of the higher end brands that you do want to almost always put it just right in your cart to make sure you comp are going to be Stuart Weitzman. Another one would be Manolo Blahnik, Salvatore Ferragamo. Cole Haan. Now, not everybody likes to sell Cole Haan, but I really do. I've done really well with some great pairs of Cole Haan, but you're going to see me pick up some Cole Haan in this video that I put back based on style. But Cole Haan is a high-end brand that you always want to put into your cart. If you live in an area where you're coming across really high-end shoes like Christian Louboutin, wow, are you lucky. So put it in your cart. Jimmy Choo, Prada, Gucci. Another one that you probably might not have heard of if you're not a shoe seller is Tabitha Simmons. If you see Tabitha Simmons, you put that directly in your cart and then um, comp it. Another one is Donald Pliner. I have done really well with Donald Pliner. Donald Pliner um, is being sold on QVC these days, and so there are some not so high end Donald Pliner, but put it in your cart. So those are some of the more high end brands that you absolutely want to put in and then. Um, comp. Now I've passed over all of the shoes that were children's shoes. So you saw me kind of whipping through that section, but I do pick these up. These are, I'm picking these up based on style. I think these are super cute and unusual. The brand is nothing great. It's Logo, L-O-G-O. -O, and I've occasionally picked those up. So sometimes style will override um, brand, but not always. And in that case, the condition just was not good enough. Here's another one of those high-end brands, Coach. 
coach, just like with bags, can be very high end. Now, these were a reasonable price. They were reasonably in good condition. I did not end up picking up this set of shoes and that's basically just because of the color i thought that they would be a long tail i thought that was a hard color to match and to purchase online and i thought they might be long tail so i did put those back now another tip is to pick up brands that you may not be familiar with if it's something unusual and you it still feels like a really good quality shoe might be something to look at this is Riker Riker is a German brand I don't pick these up because they're bread and butter but if you were maybe to get those for a dollar or so the, the brand Riker would not be a, a bad brand to pick up now um, this one is BOC be careful with lower end brands of um, uh, more well-known company. So BOC is Born Concepts. Born is definitely a put it in your cart. If you find a really nice pair of shoes Born, you can almost feel the quality in Born. But BOC is their lower end. And so not always something you're going to pick up. So um, in the style of Born, you're going to want to think about uh, brands like um, Clark's, Ultra, Vionix, Merrill's, Keen's, Sorel, Chaco, and Hoka. Now, another tip is to look for the unusual. Those were nothing particularly great, but they do stand out on the shelf, don't they? Pick those up and take a look. It might turn out to be something really cool like Fluvog here. Fluvogs are very high end. Um, or something like Poetic License, another brand you do want to pick up. Be willing to put brands in your cart that you haven't heard of. So those had a price sticker on them of $79.99, which is pretty good So uh, for a retail sale. So I'm going to put those in my cart and comp them. I ended up not getting them because um, they didn't really resell that high. But be willing to take a risk. Shoe school is always ongoing. Shoe school just doesn't shut down. So um, keep learning, keep picking up new brands and looking at them. Vince Camuto, that should fall in with um, the maybe, maybe not. Vince Camuto does have a high end uh, shoe, but and it does retail fairly high. But based on style, they're pretty popular. There's a lot of them out there. So you're really going to want to comp your Vince Camuto. Same with your Michael Kors. Now, these I do end up picking up. They had those marked $18.99, but they were half price. And look at the condition. They're just beautiful. So I do put those in my cart to comp. Same with these. Now, this is a very high-end brand, Club Monaco. Club Monaco retails very expensive. And so I put those in my cart. I'm going to comp those based on style. I think it's a really pretty color. The style's pretty... I am picking up a few more heels these days. Heels are not my kind of go-to, but, um, you know, post-pandemic, people are dressing up again, and so I'm going to put those in my cart and see where we can go. New brand, brand new shoes, new tags. Now, Naturalizer is a bread and butter brand. Uh, not something that I generally pick up, but I definitely am going to pick those up and see what they're marked at. Uh, they were a little bit too high, but look at the condition, just absolutely brand new. So, you know, if those were at a garage sale or for a dollar or two, I would have picked them up. But Naturalizer's not on my list of, you know, bolos to pick up. Again, another unusual pair of shoes. Make sure that you check them out. It could be something like Poetic License. Poetic License, Fluvog, those really cool, funky shoes have a great following and are definitely worth picking up. So over here, I'm turning the corner. And again, going around the corner, here's Guess. Guess can sometimes be a pickup. Certainly, I've done well with some Guess shoes. They fall in there with the Steve Madden, the Michael Kors, the Coach, the Guess. High end, but you always want to comp them. So Guess can be a great brand. Another tip is to look at the um, shoes that might be from another country, some ethnic shoes or something like that, that um, are really pretty and do have a market for them. So you'll see I'm passing by a lot of these brands, um, not picking up this particular brand, but I am feeling the quality of the leather, turning it over, trying to see if it's something that I might pick up. Really cute. I'm really drawn to leopard print. Leopard print is really a almost a neutral these days. Um, and I 
definitely like to pick it up. Here's a pair of shoes that I maybe wish I had picked up. Lord & Taylor. Lord & Taylor is a very high-end department store, as we all know. This was um, a, a pair of shoes made on their particular logo. They were in really good condition. Um, pretty good price, six fifty. Black booties with a cool tie at the back. I think I I made a mistake on that. I should have probably put those into my cart at least to comp them. Um, don't know why I didn't. Another pair of Zara shoes. I don't pick up Zara at this particular store only because they do not discount Zara at the store. So, um, I'm not gonna pick it up because they just have it priced too high. They mark their shoes up. So some other uh, basic brands that you're going to want to look for are, of course, Doc Martens. And I'm going to name off some popular brands that just, you know, if you see them, they're popular now. They're one-offs. They're one-of-a-kind brands that are really hard to copy. So you're going to be looking for, I'm looking for here, Doc Martens, maybe Uggs. I'm looking for Corkies. Maybe I'll find some mini Tonkas. Another brand like this is Birkenstocks and their offshoot Berkies. So Berkies are by Birkenstock. Dansko, the Dansko clogs. I love to find Dansko. And another similar brand to Dansko that I do pick up if I get for a good price is Sanita. Converse, hard to uh, argue with Converse if you get them in a good condition. Vans are very popular, particularly men's sneakers. Um, Toms are great shoes. So lots of great brands that are popular at this point in time and worth throwing in your cart. If I happen to come across any, I haven't right through here, but I'm going to keep my eyes out. These baby shoes or baby, um, just, you know, a fun brand, but they didn't retail very high. So I'm not going to pick those up. Again, I'm going through almost one by one and you really want to get down to the bottom shelves, almost like down low. You'd be surprised what you find down there that people don't catch. Okay, so I'm, I just found Gucci. That's always exciting. Those are vintage Gucci, and I'm, you can see that I did not hesitate. That went straight into the cart, and I'll do more research on what exactly they are and make sure that they are authentic. Really pretty blue color. Not any brand that I would pick up. Not a great price. Again, I definitely try to stay away from pumps and heels. Now these are Cole Haan. Cole Haan go in my cart. Cole Haan are a high-end brand. I'm not too sure about that style, so I'm going to comp those. I don't end up getting those, but Cole Haan um, should be on your list of shoes to always put in the cart and comp. These are Daniel Green. These are vintage slippers. You should never discount slippers. I have sold some really, really good slippers for good money. Um, so Daniel Green is a good vintage brand to look for. Acorn is a really great brand with wool slippers, modern slippers. So of course, slippers can get really beat up and worn up, worn out. So you want to make sure they're in great condition. These are an interesting pair of shoes. Um, I pull the stuffing out to see what the brand is, and they're a nice pair of leather, BCBG by Max Azria, which is a high-end clothing brand. Those are really cute. I'm not sure if I should have picked those up or not. I ended up putting them back. Sam Edelman is a hit or miss brand. Um, Sperry is a hit or miss brand. So those are two brands that should be on your list to definitely take a look at, but they are absolutely going to 
depend on style. So if you're not familiar with current styles, you're going to want to comp anything Sam Edelman and anything Sperry. These are really pretty. Now, I would pick these up off the shelf just based on style. Cowboy boots are a really good seller for me, both men's and women's. These are by Seychelles. Now, I happen to know the brand Seychelles. They're half price for $4.50. Seychelles is sold at Anthropology, and Anthropology is a very popular store, and so those are going in my cart for that price. So I'm looking down low, up high. These were, um, I can't quite see the brand while I'm doing the voice over here. Clark's. So Clark's should be on your list. I did not pick that particular brand of Clark's up, but I do really well with certain Clark's. These I picked up off the shelf just because I thought they looked really cool. Look at all the design. Look at all the work into those. So an unusual pair. And when you flip them over, you see that those are London Underground. London Underground, put that on your list. Always put London Underground in your cart. You're going to want to comp it, of course, but they can go very, very high certain styles. This style ranges, but um, I'm going to do comps on those. I don't even hesitate. I drop them right into the cart. Now, these are by J. Crew, so I like to pick up J. Crew. Put J. Crew on your list as something that you do want to comp. This particular style, just for me personally, has not sold well. These peep toe booties. I've had multiple pairs of them that have really been long tail. So the peep toe booties, regardless of the brand, these are Vince Camuto, kind of same sort of style, and so I do put those back. These are by Steve Madden. As I said, Steve Madden is a hit or miss um, brand, but these are really cute. These are the Timberland style, so to mimic Timberland work boots, but in a heel or a stiletto. I put these in my cart to comp. I don't end up getting those because they were just really high priced and they didn't comp out particularly well. If I if they weren't ten dollars, um, I might have thrown those in my cart if I could have gotten them for three or four dollars as a kind of bread and butter pickup. And you can see I'm kind of going through almost every pair, just kind of picking them up, feeling the quality of the leather. Um, Oftentimes you can just tell from, you know, is it buttery soft? Is it real leather? Now these are Skechers. Skechers have a following. I don't often pick up a lot of Skechers, but Skechers can be a really nice bread and butter brand. These boots I thought were really nice, very pretty. Um, I wasn't too sure about the brand. It was kind of an unknown. They would have had to sell on style and quality. So I left those behind just because they were kind of marked up. And the same was true of these. Um, these were made in Spain, really cute wedge booties with genuine suede and genuine um, fur, but the brand was not a well-known brand in the US. And so I thought they would be pretty long tail and I left those behind. So that's another consideration you want to think about. How long is it going to take for the particular item to sell? So you want to look at the what's sold um, comps, but also the uh, rate of how quickly they sell. So this is the last aisle. I'm around the back side of the store. Again, still just picking up shoe by shoe almost. And um, there are a lot of sneakers back here. Now, I am not a sneaker expert, so I don't know a lot about sneakers and I'm excluding them from this particular video. I certainly pick up brands here and there, but ooh hoo hoo, I'm so happy to see these. Okay, this was on my list and these are mini Tonkas. Notice they go immediately in the cart. That's getting pretty full there. So I'm gonna comp those just to be sure. I'm gonna look over the condition better, but Mini Tonkas are one of those brands that I will just put right in the cart and um, then I'll sit down, take some time to look them over. Those are American Eagle. A lot of people do sell American Eagle. I might have wanted to comp those. They were a really pretty kind of uh, lace eyelet, but not a shoe brand that I generally pick up just because they're a bread and butter type of, um, bread and butter type of brand. Again, I'm seeing lots of uh, pairs here that I'm not looking at. These were um, new with tags. They were by Esprit. They had come from, it looked like um, a Marshall's Here's a really cool pair of boots. Um, I'm definitely going to take a look at these. I was drawn really just by the pretty color and the suede, but now I'm even more drawn by the brand. So they're gonna go into the cart and I'm gonna comp those. 
So I don't pick up things like Sam and Lib Libby, um, Sam Edelman, Once in a Great While. These are really pretty, um, but again, those would probably be a bread and butter shoe, not a brand that I pick up. These were kind of cool. They looked like Izod Alligator. The condition was really not good. So um, they went back on the shelf. I thought these were really cool, but that's not a brand that I generally pick up. And the price was still, they were Mucklucks. I do occasionally pick up Mucklucks, but the price was still high on those. They were not half price quite yet. If I see those again next week, same with these. Lucky Brand is a brand that does sell well if they're on sale next week. I probably will pick those up. So let's go see what I actually have in my cart. Okay, so here is my actual haul. So I'm gonna show you what, um, you saw me shopping for the items and here's what I picked up. First are these really cool pair, look at the bottoms, aren't they cool? They're kind of designed. Um, this is my first time picking up London Underground. Now London Underground can go really, really high. So it's definitely on the Bolo list. These are a size nine, they fit me, so I might get one of those reseller perks by getting a chance to maybe wear these once or twice. These are suede, so one of the biggest tips I can say is get a, get a suede brush. Suede can be very easily cleaned off just by kind of brushing it off. So they have a particular suede brushes you can get, but any really stiff bristle but yet soft brush will work. So um, these are a size nine and suede i paid these were half price you can really it's hard to see it in there it's 14.99 but they were pink so i paid just seven dollars and fifty cents for these now these are not the super high end um london underground i think some go a lot higher than this but i've seen these ranging from say 40 to 75 40 to 125 so i'll probably go somewhere in the middle with those but for you know um a seven dollars and fifty cents pickup definitely worth it okay next were um these michael by michael kors croc embossed which is what i would call those so there's the logo i think we probably all know this one michael michael kors um these i had seen at the store previously they were 18.99 and i did not pick them up at that price but when they went on the half price sale based on the condition now michael kors is in my sometimes but not always category but these are really really great condition they look really almost brand new it looks like they were worn maybe just a few times so these have a stacked heel meaning that the pieces of wood are stacked they're a platform so a little bit of a platform heel very very tall so these would be called stilettos and um way up underneath sometimes it's really hard to find but you have to kind of bend this back and way up underneath here you can see um, the style number it doesn't have a style name but that these are leather and um, so I'm gonna list these let's see for probably around $60 or so and I paid half of the $18.99 so that's pretty high that's paying up but they were just in such good condition and a really cool style for fall that I think they were worth a uh, pickup Next, another brand definitely on the be on the lookout list, and this is Stuart Weitzman. Now, Stuart Weitzman is not 100% all the time. I don't think any shoe, any brand is really 100% all of the time. It's really about condition and style, but these, I looked at them over very carefully, and they do not have any missing beads. That's a really important thing to look for when you have beaded or sequined, um, not just shoes, but anything. You want to make sure that none of it's missing. So really good condition. I paid just $5 for these. So for Stuart Weitzman, I think these um, probably bring about 40 to 45, maybe 50, $55. But Stuart Weitzman is definitely on the list. If you see Stuart Weitzman, always comp it. Okay, next. These I picked up just on style, really. I thought this pretty pink color was very, very pretty. And I loved the tie. Um, tassel ties. These are Ann Taylor. So Ann Taylor of Ann Taylor Loft. Um, these are not Loft. These are Ann Taylor. They're a good size, which is a seven medium. They're a really pretty suede. I have a little bit of areas um, where I'll need to suede brush those, but I do expect most of that to 
to come out and I just thought the color and the style was really pretty for the price. So I did pay just $5 for these. If they were more than $5, I probably would not have picked these up. And in that same vein, I am starting to pick up, I don't pick up a lot of heels. So I do have three pairs that I got today, uh, maybe three and a half if you count um, another upcoming pair. But again, I just thought this suede and the style was really pretty. And this is a great brand. Now in clothing, Club Monaco is super expensive, super high end. Um, and these are made in Italy. The price was good. Again, $5. They were $9.99, half price. So because this brand is so high-end, I thought they were worth a pickup. And again, they're going to need to be suede brushed and cleaned up just a little bit. So um, I do not like to pick up shoes that are in need of lots of work. Um, one of the things I think that turns people off to shoes, they think they're always going to be dirty. That's not necessarily the case if you're getting them, particularly at thrift stores. Uh, most thrift stores don't put out really grungy shoes. Maybe you'd find them at the bins, maybe at a flea market or something like that. But I do steer clear um, of really grungy shoes and find that for the most part, they're in really good condition. Okay, next. Great, great pickup. I love these. I did not expect to find Gucci, but you saw me find pair of vintage Gucci uh, Mary Jane heels in a really pretty wool. Now, um, I do believe that these are um, authentic and that's really because they're vintage. You don't really find a lot of vintage um, fakes necessarily. So um, I did look these up and I comped a couple. I found that these were probably from the 1990s and made in Italy. They have all kind of the, all the Gucci hallmarks. Now I am gonna leave this tag on. I don't leave any price tags. I do scrub tags and, and um, prices off of most of the shoes. This I'm gonna leave on. And the reason I'm gonna leave this on is that this is a um, tag from a dry cleaner. And so somebody spent some money to take these to the dry cleaners and have them cleaned. So another sign of authenticity. They are very clean, so it looks like they were probably, they clearly weren't worn after they were cleaned. And I'm looking at upwards of $200 on these Gucci's. Um, there was one pair that sold really low on Poshmark, but I believe that may have been someone who just wanted to get rid of them or didn't really know what they had because these really do warrant a higher price. What a pretty green kind of Mary Jane to wear, you know, the holidays, fall. Guys, these are my size. I think I'm gonna to have to wear them at least once. Um, look at the price on these. I paid just $3.50, so these were a no-brainer. Finding Gucci, um, that's one of the upscale brands. Okay, next. This is a brand that I knew because I've sold it before, but I think anybody should probably wanna look at at least pick, or pick these up or comp them because they're cool, booties, um, faux, distressed, and the brand is Seychelles. Now Seychelles is sold at Anthropology. So these are popular and great condition, really cute booties for fall and winter. And they were also half price. So they were marked $8.99 and I paid just $4 and 50 cents. So these are a no brainer. I'll probably list these for about 65 to $75. Maybe hope to get at least 60 for these um, from Seychelles. Next, a brand that is definitely on my list of always take a look at them. And kind of, if you get them for a good price, most always pick them up if they're in decent condition. And this is Mini Tonka. Mini Tonkas are popular. They're one of a kind. These fall in with brands that, you know, there just aren't other brands like them. So some of the brands that you want to be looking for like that are Birkenstocks. Birkenstocks are Birkenstocks. Sure, there's lots of fakes out there, but the real deal is valuable. Uggs. Lots of uh, copycats out there, but the real deal Uggs are worth a pickup. And the same is true of Mini Tonka. I think they kind of fall in that same category, kind of one of a kind in the suede. Um, these are booties with fringe and moccasin or mocks. These are in really, really good condition. And I paid also $5 for these. So no brainer pickup. So Mini Tonka is on the list. Always comp them and almost always pick them up if you get them for a decent price and they're in good condition. Next is a brand I've never picked up before and I was happy to find these. These are flip-flops. These are fit 
flip-flops. So fit flops are popular and I don't think I don't even think I knew they made boots, but these really cute booties caught my attention because of the gorgeous plum purple color. And then I saw that they were fit, fit flops. So I paid um, half of $12.99, right? So I paid just $6.50 for these and I did comp these and these comp out at about 85, uh, 85 to $100. They're in really good condition. So the condition areas you wanna look at are the heels, you want to look at the toes and of course any buckle areas and then the soles so really nice pickup with my first pair of fit flops next these are always so easy to spot and um, i almost always pick up all birds if they're in good condition and with all birds you definitely want to like with any sneaker do the torture test and kind of twist and make sure there's no areas that are coming apart do it with both the shoe both shoes um these have the Allbirds logo on there these are a men's size 12 these are the wool runners very easy to tell on the tag Allbirds can be sold on ebay nowadays uh, there was a little bit of um, confusion about that for a while but they're not a vero you can list them and these were half price again just 650 so these are the classic color nice size all birds are on the list and i do kind of I have these categories in my head and i kind of categorize these with the the brands that you just really can't copy so the mini tonka the uggs the birkenstocks and the all birds and i guess that's it for my shoes i think i did really well today and i'm thank you for coming along i hope you enjoyed shoe school so um keep your eyes out for those brands definitely you know think about condition think about price and then there are those maybe brands make sure with the maybe brands that you're always doing comping i find that to comp shoes using google lens the app you can put on your phone is really really simple and it works really quite well so thanks for coming to shoe school i think you all got an a plus and i'm looking forward to seeing you soon bye